October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. News 10 is partnering up with Ellis Medicine and Roswell Cancer Center for the Cap Region's first ever Mammothon. After years of putting doctors' visits on the back burner, your annual mammogram is more important now more than ever. And News 10 ABC's Lydia Colvita is live tonight at the Bellevue Women's Center with more, more on the importance of being proactive about your health and how you can schedule an appointment now. Lydia. We are going to hear an advocate's story, Trishna and John, but we want everybody to go to the website or scan the QR code on your screen after this interview and really get as many women signed up for a mammogram as possible. Last half hour, we spoke with Dr. Sarah Raymond. Best practices, you want to start at the age of 40 for those annual screenings, get them done every year, but under certain circumstances, some women may need them sooner. And that's what happened with our next guest, Tammy Beck. Tammy, back in 2018, you were 38 and you found a lump. What happened? I was sent for a mammogram and an ultrasound and I was told like so many women, well, it's nothing, it's you have dense breast tissue and just kind of watch it and see if it does anything. So that was 2018. You went for another screening in 2019? I did not. And then 2020, we know the pandemic happened and so many uh, medical facilities, um, people didn't want to go into a hospital to get sick from something else. What happened to you after that? Pretty much COVID was in full force and I did turn 40, but I did not go to my regular doctor appointments, et cetera. Um, I'm not part of the sandwich generation, but I am taking care of my kids, my husband, et cetera, and pretty much I kind of put myself on the back burner. And when you do that, you wind up putting your health care on the back burner as well. And I didn't get the screenings. And then you found that the lump had grown. And when you went back to the doctor in 2021, it wasn't just one lump, it was three. It was. I had three cancerous masses. Um, I only realized that I had one because I only felt the one lump. Uh, the others were somewhat deeper. Um, and pretty much I went for a mammogram, ultrasounds, and the radiologist gets on the phone and says, pretty much, uh, I can't say it's cancer, but it looks really suspicious. We don't want to wait on this. And the next day I was in getting the biopsies. It turned out to be cancer. You had surgery. You are still going through chemotherapy right now. What is your message to other women who put off their screenings? Pretty much get your screenings done if you, Everyone wants to take care of their family. They want to take care of their parents, their kids, their spouse. You're not going to be able to do that if you aren't taking care of yourself as well. Pretty much get the screenings done. Go to the QR code. Just set it up right now. Um, don't wait. I waited, and if I hadn't, you can't play the what if game, but if I hadn't, maybe I wouldn't be in the situation. Maybe my family wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe my kids wouldn't realize what breast cancer does to the family. Tammy Beck, thank you so much for sharing your story with us and for being such an advocate for getting your annual screening right now. As Tammy said, scan the QR code on your screen right now or go to our website, news10.com. John and Trishna. Lydia, thank you so much. You can schedule your appointment right now. Like they said, all you have to do is scan that QR code on your screen, or you can also go online to news10.com and click on Women's Health under the Community tab.